hi beautiful capricorns welcome back thanks everybody so much i had a wonderful day yesterday with my son and my granddaughter both celebrated their birthday she had she's two and i got her this like mermaid costume she likes doing dress up so she was running around here in her little mermaid outfit oh my god how adorable and it was a little long so i had taken the skirt tucked it into her diaper well <laughs> oh my god capricorn she crapped everywhere <laughs> Her dress was covered in poop. I gotta say, it was a three adults' job to get that little girl clean. I kid you not. She was, but she was in her glory. I never saw anything like it. <laughs> so we did the cleanup crew. So if my camera arrangement is a little different here today, that's why she's into everything. It's like. I was, you know, I love seeing her, but I'm like, I'm so glad I don't do diaper changes. <laughs> Massive blowout, guys, I'm telling you. What a thing to talk about, but, it, you know, that's kids, right? Not a care in the world. Carefree. They don't worry about it. They don't care what they smell like, what they look like, but uh, Capricorn messages, please, spirit. Oh, well, that might be why somebody might be pregnant or planning on getting pregnant. Gestation period. And if you're not pregnant or planning on it, if you are, congratulations. But if you're not, this is birthing of new projects, new ideas, bearing something is getting prepared to bear fruit. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Time to replenish with the empty well. I'm saying someone's getting pregnant. If you don't want a pregnancy, take precautions. But for those of you trying to have a child, it's here. It's that empty well is going to soon be full. It's also in career and business here. Something is about to be replenished. Whale song resonating. It's like someone's calling in their soulmate. Ancestral wisdom here. Some of you are following like in the path. It is the lay of the land. It's like if you had this person has reached the top of the mountain. This person has gone through it. This person is about to, like, this is an ascension. This is getting wisdom from your ancestors, ideas. You're being connected at this time. <laughs> Why? Because you're about to be a benefactor of abundance. Generosity. That's why. The well is getting, the empty well is getting replenished with generosity. That's a lot of treasure in that cup. Benefactor of grace and generosity. There's a lot of treasures in there. Just saying. You faced all these obstacles. You were up against it. The lay of the land. Hurdles, mountains to climb. You were at the top of the mountain. You're getting there. And now this is like all these obstacles. The wall. You're getting ready to receive something big. If the well is empty, it's going to be full. Yep. 
closing the door to all these obstacles, closing the door, the challenges, it's being shut, a new door is being opened. Herald of Change of Five. You've been through, Spirit is saying, the perfect storm. The courage to step into the light, into life. You're about to be receiving something, a benefactor of generosity. Mm. Clarity and organization. A tidy house. Mm. It's like removing all the old obstacles. This is your new. Something's getting cool. The Divine Feminine with the Cosmic Wound. This is birthing, giving birth. This is the womb. If it's empty, it's going to be full. Somebody is getting pregnant here, I'm just saying. If you're not birthing, this is giving birth to this abundance. I'm just saying it's all here. Some of you are just getting organized because you can almost sense like something is going to change. It's like preparing like subconsciously for something giving birth. Getting ready for it. Getting organized for it. It's in the, it's skywriting, it's faded. Mm. Reconciliations, some of you are saying, hell no, I ain't reconciling. I've been through it, ain't happening. Well, you're rising above it like the phoenix from the ashes. Protecting the future. There's something big happening in Capricorn's life. Whatever it is, is faded. Some of you are actually going to be having a child. Others of you, it's like, you know when a pregnant uh, mom knows when her baby's coming, it's like they rush around getting organized. They clean the house. It's like they prepare for this child coming. That's the energy. It's like you're rushing around getting ready for this abundance. And for some, it is a child. For others of you, it's like, you don't know why you're like, why am I doing this? It's like spring cleaning, you know? You make a mad dash to do all this. You have high energy to get something done. <coughs> wow. It's like, I never do that, guys. It's like releasing something. It's like, you're preparing for this abundance, what's ever coming. It's like you feel it coming. It's because it's about to give birth. It's faded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you were feeling like you were empty, feeling like you couldn't ha bend anymore, you're going to break or give anymore because you're going to break. Uh, and feeling lost. It's all coming back together. It's, oh my God, beginner's mind. It's a new beginning. It's getting back into integrity, getting organized. It's like you instinctively are preparing for this abundance. Many of you, it is a baby. I can't, it's here. Yeah. Many of you have felt like, you know, if you felt like you were lost, felt like you just were up against the wall, it's like all of a sudden there's this new spirit of motivation, like, holy shit, I better get ready for this. It's coming. But there is definitely a baby in this read. If you're wanting a child, it's here. 
if you're not it's just fertility it's like starting all over brand new and it's like spirit giving you all this abundance to get you started it's faded you know they always say like um a mother knows when she's ready to give birth because she'll get everything done like in a day and sometimes they're just like crazy energy like preparing for this child and then they go into labor that's what this energy is shelter from the storm being divinely protected somehow from the storm success you're about to birth something success success abundance that's what you're giving birth to being open it's like openness being open to success oh spirit that's a lot new beginnings going on a voyage forgiveness the gateway healing chaos blessings yes relax leadership courage action and you are divinely protected spirit wanted those out that's what's happening it's like preparing for this abundance you're protected Capricorn yep somebody is like making an offer or you're receiving something this if you were stuck you will not be for long it's like you're this is like celebrating it's like being lit on fire inspired herald of change there is the horse loving of self this is being open to receive this abundance this also is pregnancy somebody receiving this uh, child you know it's like strategizing you know there, there was deception in the past there was a lot of worry in the past but things are heralding of change right now there was heartbreak there was challenges someone is someone is receiving enlightenment just saying whatever this is it's like this could be a divine partnership or you yourself just loving of self receiving enlightenment but that's also a divine partnership and somebody's getting wish fulfillment strength resilience courage you fought for it sure. unions or no unions you're coming out of a rough sea someone's getting pregnant I cannot make this up. This is also investments paying off, coming into fruition, gestation period. It's about to bloom. There's that offer. Someone's making you an offer, an offer of love. This is, <laughs> this is love. Many of you are falling in love. Many of you are conceiving. That is also the womb. So whatever you're doing that you love, career, business, I don't care. It's about to bear fruit. But in others, it's coming together with your soulmate. Just saying it's true love here. It's ten of cups. And there you are giving birth to whatever you've been working on whatever your creative projects are 
whatever this love is. Many of you are having a child. You're conceiving. You're giving birth. If there's no pregnancy involved here, but there is for some, I'm telling you, but for others of you, it's whatever. This is divine partnerships coming back together. This is new love, soulmate contracts. This is creative projects and talents and investments all coming into fruition. <sighs> There's been a tower. There's been sadness and somebody closed a door, opened a new one, and they're moving forward. <laughs> Some of you are getting swept off your feet here. I'm just saying, wrote Cupid Zero is here. It's Ten of Pentacles. It's commitment. This is also just receiving positive messages about abundance. After being in this high stress, high anxiety, sleepless nights, crying, things are changing. There's a new door opening and you're going to love it. Somebody no longer is indecisive. The blinders have been removed. It's like saying, I was blind, but now I see I've learned something. Optimism, messaging, learning. Somebody wants to reconcile. If you're not entertaining that, this is you celebrating a victory, a success. Ten of Pentacles after being in lack. Not knowing which way to go, what to choose. And I'm saying for the past person who is dragging their feet, they want stability. They're divinely guided. It's faded. Divine unions are coming back together. Um, if you're not entertaining that past person, it's new love. If you're not interested in any of that, this is finance. It's whatever your situation is. Whoever deceived you never let you go and they want to change. You're on a new cycle. You have luck on your side and somebody has done some soul searching. Somebody has received some enlightenment. Hmm. Yep, they could have been in their ego. Well, they're gentle as a lamb now. Their egos get smashed when you go through dark night of the soul and that's what's happened here. It's, it's like... Someone wants to take a leap of faith because it's destiny, it's faded. Happiness after rejection. So if you're rejecting the past person, I'm telling you it's a brand new love. Others of you, it's to do with career, it's to do with success, it's to do with jobs, finances it's like prepare spirit is saying prepare it's coming it's financial stability for this union this person wants to do the right thing wants to be loyal wants to be grounded and stable it's divine unions it's new soulmates it's whatever somebody wants to work and team up it's to do with careers, businesses, jobs, whatever it's destined to make you happy. Whatever your situation is, and I'm not messing with that. Take care, Capricorn, you deserve this. <laughs>